Hello, I'm Joyce. Today I'm going to introduce a new technology, carbon removal technology. Carbon removal technology is still a new solution in the market, but this technology has a great potential to be adopted in the future 10 years. Let me further introduce what is carbon removal technology to you. Carbon removal technologies are critical in mitigating climate change because the technology can remove carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Currently, these carbon removal technology related projects are not mature. That means um, they might not be verified and certified. But I see this is a great business opportunity for start up business or for investors who want to invest in the renewables because of the carbon price will increase. Let me further give you some examples of carbon removal technologies to help you brainstorm. Also, I think you will like them because they are innovative and interesting technologies in the market. It's good to know more things. First, direct air capture. This technology removes CO2 from the atmosphere by chemical process and started in geological reservoirs or long-lived products such as cement. Second, bioenergy with carbon capture and storage. This technology involves generating energy from biomass, such as plants, and capturing the carbon dioxide emissions during the process for storage underground. I have involved in a project which is about converting palm oil waste to biochar. The project can generate carbon credit and sell in the carbon market. Third, enhanced weathering. This approach involves speeding up the natural process of weathering. Um, so this technology actually is about um, accelerate natural chemical weathering process to capture CO2 from rainwater by finely ground silicate rocks. The substance can be durably stored as carbonate minerals in soils and oceans. For afforestation and reforestation, I believe everyone here heard about photosynthesized. So the trees, they can absorb the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and release oxygen during the daytime. And this is why forests can sustrate uh, carbon emissions. I conduct research about how much carbon emissions can different tree species absorb or different forest types absorb because it varies depending on the tree species and forest types. Result is the bigger the tree is and the more carbon dioxide the tree can absorb. Last one, ocean-based solution. This solution is about to enhance the ocean ability in absorbing carbon dioxide, including the ocean fertilization and ocean alkalinity enhancement. I don't know if you heard about blue carbon, which is a concept nowadays in the market. The concept utilized the same theory, which is about using the ocean to absorb extra amount of the carbon emissions, also the wetland ecosystem, because they can absorb more carbon dioxide than the forest dust. But we don't know if there is any harmful effect for the species in the ocean or wetland ecosystem, because there is research shows that if the ocean absorbed 
excess amount of carbon dioxide that will also cause harmful effects to the species in the water system.